In this video, we'll demonstrate how to use ultrasound to guide subclavian central venous placement. The benefit of the subclavian approach is there's evidence to support less likelihood of infection, but the disadvantage is it's typically done in a blind approach, which puts the patient at risk for erroneous puncture of the artery or for pneumothorax. The benefit of ultrasound is that these complications can be avoided. The location to start with the ultrasound is in the deltopectoral groove. In the deltopectoral groove, we can see the subclavian artery adjacent to the subclavian vein. To differentiate the subclavian artery versus the vein, a little bit of compression will compress the vein, whereas the artery will pulsate. Once the subclavian vein has been identified, it is best to turn the transducer 90 degrees to obtain a longitudinal image of the vein. Here is a longitudinal image of the subclavian vein. The next step is to move the transducer as close to the clavicle as possible. So here we're moving toward the clavicle, and we can see the transducer is abutting the clavicle with an image of the subclavian vein. The benefit of this view is, in this example, I can see the pleura sliding underneath, and I can also see the rib that provides a boundary. When the needle is inserted, in this case in the longitudinal view, to target this vein, I can have a measure of safety because I know that I won't be hitting the lung itself. The idea here is to insert the needle longitudinally on the skin underneath targeted toward the vein. Because we're doing a longitudinal approach, remember it's important to maintain the needle within the plane of the ultrasound. In certain patients who have larger chests, it may be the case that the ultrasound transducer is angled caudally, in which case the needle needs to be angled to maintain that relationship. Once the needle has penetrated the vessel, the wire can be inserted. And once the wire is inserted, it's important to ultrasound the vessel with the wire in place to ensure that venous puncture was achieved as opposed to arterial puncture. This imaging can be done in either the short axis or the long axis view. After that, the ultrasound is not necessary for the remainder of the procedure and the central venous catheter is placed in the usual fashion.